Salt Lake County will soon have a new interim sheriff. The current sheriff, Jim Winder, announced today he's leaving his position to be the police chief in the small city of Moab. The specialist Lad Egan is live at the sheriff's office with more on this big change, right, Lad? Yeah, big change, Dini. And you know, the sheriff says he's excited about this new opportunity, but he's also glad to be leaving some problems behind, like chronic jail overcrowding and the homelessness crisis. He says that he is, there is some frustration as he's tried to push forward with changes in hopes that once he's gone, those changes will finally take hold. Whoever the hell wants to take credit for it can take credit for it or do whatever, but do something. So you bet I'm frustrated. And uh, my opinion is many in the county are too. In addition to serving as sheriff for 10 years, Winder also created the Unified Police Department back in 2009. He oversees law enforcement in Utah's largest county with about 1,000 officers. Those numbers will drop drastically in Moab, where the department only has about 17 officers, and he won't have to manage a jail. But Moab has become a tourist hotspot with 2 million visitors each year. Another reason, he says, for wanting a fresh start in a small town, having to cope with recent tragedies on the job. When my people die, it, it hurts. I said I wasn't going to cry. I'm sorry. Winder said he has had to de deal with difficulties over the past year, specifically mentioning the death of Unified Police Officer Doug Barney, who was shot and killed in January of last year while looking for a man who left the scene of a traffic accident. In a statement today, Moab's mayor praised Winder, saying his approach to policing is exactly what Moab needs right now. And the mayor says he is heartened to know that Winder will lead the department into the future. As for when he will start in Moab, Sheriff Winder says it could be as early as July 1st, but he says he doesn't expect this uh, to drag out for more than 60 days. He doesn't want this interim sheriff to uh, be running for the job permanently when the, it is up for re-election in November of 2018. He says someone who is running for office, that detracts from getting the job done. But Dini, even though he can recommend who he wants to be interim sheriff, it's not up to him. The county Democratic Party has to put a name forward or names forward to the county council who will name that interim sheriff. Yeah, certainly will be a big appointment and a big shakeup in law enforcement. Lad, thanks. Thank you.